hi and welcome to another video in today's video we're going to be talking about one data vision tool that i really like and that is the scatter plot so basically the scatter plot is actually a data vision tool that we use to visualize the concept of correlation <laughs> So basically, correlation is actually uh, a concept that tells us the strength of association and the direction of association between two numerical variables. Uh, a number that we use to quantify the concept of correlation is actually known as the correlation coefficient. It can either be the Kaspersky's correlation coefficient or it can be the, uh, the Spearman's ranking. But most times when it comes to numerical, we actually use more of the Kaspersky's correlation. So the scatter plot actually consists of the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Uh, on the horizontal axis, we have one of the variables, which is the, uh, the X variables, aka the independence variable and on the vertical axis we actually have the y variable which is the dependence variable so uh in this area in between these two axes we have a uh, dot uh, this dot represents the point of intersection between the variables of x and the variable of y so whenever you plot your scatter plot it's kind of it's supposed to like give you uh a shape in form of a straight line meaning uh, if you have a scatter plot that is actually tending uh, towards a straight line upward slope then we can say we have uh, a positive correlation that is uh the variables you are trying to work on they actually change in the same direction meaning uh, they either increase in the same direction or they decrease in the same direction when you plot your scatter plot you can see that you are having somewhat like a downward slope uh the dots actually formed a downward slope so definitely we have what we call uh a negative correlation and when you plot your scatter plot you can see that there is really no form of lines being formed from the scatter plot so definitely we have what we call uh, a zero or no correlation the correlation coefficient is actually a number that we use to quantify correlation like i said earlier on and this number ranges between minus one and plus one at a value of minus one it simply implies that we have uh, a very strong negative correlation that is uh, as one of the variable is increasing the other is actually decreasing and at a value of plus one it means we have a very strong positive correlation meaning as one of the variables is either increasing or decreasing the other one is actually also increasing or decreasing and at a value of zero it means we have have um, a zero correlation that is a uh, no correlation so in between the values of minus one and plus one we can have other values like 0 0.5 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 and stuff like that as usual i'll go into excel to kind of use some data set to explain how we can actually use excel to like plot a scatter plot please note that before you can actually draw your scatter plot the two variables that you are working with must actually be numerical variables that is something you need to keep in mind so without further ado let's move into excel so here we are at excel and we're, i'm going to be using the simplest data as usual so i have month i have profit and i have quantity so so this is the data set collected from a business uh so like i said earlier on for us to use uh to get a scatter plot we actually have to use two numerical variables and that is going to be profit and uh, the quantity sold so to plot our scatter plot you can just select all of this uh we come to insert and we can see this icon for scatter plot right here so we click on that and this is the scatter plot that actually defines the relationship between profit and quantity sold so you can also decide to add some things uh, you can decide to add um you know the trend line you know it gives you the line of best fit and you can also decide to like add some other things like the equation that defines this so you know we can actually add display equation on the chart display the value of arrows but these are values that you know you can just use to perform proper correlation analysis which i will still come back to in the long run so this is just the scatter plot uh and as you can see it feels like we kind of have an upward slope right here so that means there is actually a kind of a positive maybe a weak positive correlation between quantities sold and profits so that is that about that and if i'm supposed to move into the popular uh superstar data sets so we have a lot of variables right here so we are going to be paying attention to the numerical variables and uh, we only have like uh, four numerical variables right here that is sales quantity discount and profit so i can be like okay what is the relationship between uh sales and profit or what's the relationship between quantity and discount so let's just pick two quantitative variables so i'll just pick let me say i pick sales then i pick uh profit then i come to insert and then and this is like the scatter plot as you can see this has like this uh upward slope line so that means there's actually uh, a positive correlation between sales and profit you can also try to like 
uh, add some the thread line, some details, you know, stuff like this, and like I did earlier on. So we can set the intercepts this and this. In the next couple of videos, I will still try to like come back to correlation analysis properly and teach you the interpretation of the correlation coefficients and how you can actually uh, perform a test on the value of the correlation coefficients also. If you need a video about uh, the types of data sets that we have in statistics, I have a video right here for you that you can just go check out. And if you need to know about other data visualization tools like bar chart, histogram and pie chart, I have a video right here for you so you can also just check that out. Do you think I missed something or you have a question for me? Please go down to the comment section and drop those questions. Definitely I'm going to attend to them. Thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.